Good morning, good morning, and good morning, and welcome once again to Old Blackpool Biker. This morning, I've, want, I've been saying for a long time, I'm going to do the final secret tunnels, underground tunnels of Blackpool. And I'm literally just outside the tower. The tower building is right opposite me, just there. The iconic tower building and the Blackpool Tower. just there but yeah I've been saying that the first time I did the tunnels was maybe about 14 15 months ago maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less but originally the tunnels was started because as kids and, and it's always struck a chord with me that as kids we was told that there was secret tunnels that had now been capped off or blocked off you know, you know in, in one way or another but the old timers in the pubs, or even when we were still at school at Tilsley, you know, and we were told, no, there is tunnels under the tower going to the winter gardens. And we just took it with a pinch of salt, to be honest. It was like old wives' tales. Yeah, right, okay, then there's, there's secret tunnels under Blackpool Tower. Okay, then it sounds mysterious. It sounds, you know, that you're telling kids, basically. And when we got a bit older... We started drinking, you know, when you're 50, 50, 50 18. Um, the old timers, I'd say, which would nowadays be about my age, when I say old timers, would give us the stories, you know, eyewitness accounts that, no, seriously, there was tunnels under the tower going various directions, basically. Now, one of them, that, or a couple of them that we've done previously before was from the tower, obviously to the Winter Gardens. That one has been proved that there are tunnels going that way. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a little while. But there are tunnels. And apparently they even used to have, you may have seen pictures of the elephants being on the beach, the bring them over and they'd go on the beach you know from the circus basically the elephants and they'd be on the beach you, you may have seen pictures in the past of that on Blackpool Beach around here but apparently the, the, the elephants used to be able to get through these tunnels as well and when I was first told that I'm going Jack and Ori Jack and Ori go on tell Biker a story but no we were told this as kids don't forget as well so yeah it it, 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 it's it, it's true and the reason we know that a few years ago quite a few years ago now actually back in 2013 we had a, a, a big show come to town and that show you, you've heard of it you probably know it was called Strictly Come Dancing Now, what had happened was, whilst the, the stars, the entertainers, the judges, you know, w were here at the, at the tower, sorry about a bit of traffic noise, I'll go around the back of the tower in a minute and show you a bit more, it won't be quite as noisy then. Yeah, so while they was here, things were mysteriously taken from the dressing rooms, this was back in 2013. The mystery was, CCTV revealed nothing, they, they couldn't find out what had actually happened to, what was taken, the belongings taken from the dressing rooms. Now, later on, 2016, the, 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 Excuse me one minute. There's Harry Ramsden. Let's just get that in for you. Yeah, so in 2016, there was an investigation. Um, what that revealed was that a full investigation, basically, of, you know, how they might have got into the dressing rooms and, uh, you know, stole the goods, possessions. And it turns out that this investigation does reveal 
but yes there is tunnels going from the tower buildings he here up to the winter gardens just there yeah so how that was revealed was that there was an application made to the um freedom of information act and that's how it came about basically now the council have admitted to six hun un un underground tunnels in blackpool but they're counting it's misleading in a way because they're counting the old subway tunnel um subway toilets as in the ones central You'll remember them just opposite Central Pier around obviously Central Area. So they're counting them as part of the tunnels. It's early in the morning, by the way. That's why you can see workers and what have you. It's, I don't think it's even 7 a.m. yet. But I thought I'd do it now so there's not people in the way so I can show you properly. Just get the back of here for you. Just here, this is what used to be the Tower Lounge as well. The back here, if anyone remembers the Tower Lounge. And there's that side. But yeah, the, the tunnel from here going to the Winter Gardens was going up that way, basically, before the Allen's Hill Centre was even built. And it went to what was called in them days Tower Street. Now Tower Street would would then it would veer off slightly and then to the Winter Gardens with the tunnels. Back to the what the council admitted to the six. Yeah, they're just they're saying the ones that really used to be the underground toilets. You know the subterranean toilets. I think the terminology is what they called it. Yes, the subterranean toilets. I think that's what they were calling it. You know, they were using words and the, the, you layman will just be going, what are you on about? But that's what they were meaning. Um, and they are the old toilets. To give you, for instance, Church Street, that used to have toilets where Church Street and Court Street meets. There used to be toilets down there. Central. Um, north, just at Talbot Square here, as we'll be going to in a minute. But the, they're just saying all sorts. Bethesda Square, there used to be toilets underneath as well, if, if you remember them. Locals will remember them ones at Bethesda Square. Bethesda Square, however you want to pronounce it, on Central Drive. Uh, Station Road down South Shore, opposite South Pier. There were toilets there as well, underground. But yeah, they're, they're counting them, which is just a, a misleader, to be honest with you. But this one, really, we're going from the tower to what is now Foreshores, used to be the Ibis, Ibis Hotel here. And the reason for that I'll tell you about in a minute so originally when i was first doing these secret underground tunnels and investigating them i was getting a lot of comments from previous workers at the abyss the tower you know whatever you all tell you what to call it by four shores that the workers were saying hey biker you do know that there's tunnels going from the tower through to here as in the abyss hotel and then from there going to the Metropole Hotel now which does tie in really because I've shown before the air raid shelter that's underneath the Metropole Hotel we've shown that we've shown the entrances as we walk up I'll show you the entrances as we walk up and this is going to be a long video by the way so I do apologize if you want to pause it make a <laughs> don't blame me one one bit <coughs> excuse me so yeah, so you've got to imagine if these tunnels are coming, <coughs> excuse me again, the tower there obviously, so they wander along here 
don't ask me exactly where they are underground here and apparently by the way in town there the sea does still come through at certain times that's what we were told anyway whether that's fact or fiction if you know better let me know so yeah it's the tunnels must wander along here and as I say going to the Ibis Ibis Hotel we'll call it the Ibis for now if you want to call it something else then please do now when the workers were telling me and I spoke to them they were saying yeah there's a massive doors down there metal doors and they go through to the tunnels from one end to the Metropole Hotel which I'll show you once again in a second So yeah, you, you, I'll show you the hotel in a second. But yeah, there's massive, massive, uh, what I can only say is iron doors down there to this tunnel. It'll be easier when I get actually to the hotel to explain. And uh, uh, lots of workers, former workers of the Ibis, are saying bikers, seriously, they, they are there. We know they are there. If if you did see those original tunnel videos that I put out so long ago now, please let me know if you've got any more information. So it's around the corner here. So I'm swapping hands and it's cold. It's early in the morning. It looks nice, but believe me, it's a bit nippy. So you've got North Pier there, look. So I presume, I'm not exactly sure where these doors were. By the way, this is where the north toilets used to be. It's about here, leading over the road and what have you. So yeah, Four Shores Hotel now, but this has got a long, long history. Seventeen eighty or something like that. Yeah, let's just have a look at the blue black again. I know I've shown it previously, but let's just have a quick look. There you go, seventeen eighty. Originally known as Four Shores. There you go. So then the tunnels must come along here somehow. Is we're walking, I presume. This is not. If you know better, once again, please know because this is how we found out about the tunnels originally as in doing the videos and then people saying hey biker what about this and what about the air raid shout at the metropole let's we'll cross over here this is why i've tried to do this early in the morning we're not even 7am yet because i thought it'd be easier to cross and what have you let's cross over here So yeah, the tunnel will come over this way. I'll show you the air raid shelter in a minute at the Metropole, because it, it does tie in in a way. So it's going to come over this way. Watch out for trams, Micah. But like I say though, if you know any better, please let me know. I'll show you where the entrances used to be to the Metropole. So you can see it's not a great distance. Metropole's literally just there. Hotel there. Now, the ones I was saying about going back to the original secret tunnels, they was dug approximately 120 years ago, originally from the... Winter Gardens to the tower. We know the Winter Gardens 1878, so that was there before the tower. Tower 1893, just off the top of my head, around about is that. You know, a few years later, I think it's 1893, off the top of my head right now. Um, 
So then tunnels were dug, but it was said that they was actually capped or blocked off in the late 60s or the mid to late 60s, those tunnels. But the mystery deepened. How did they get hold of, you know, the artists, the stars and what have you's goods from the dressing rooms? So that's how the mystery started. I'll show you a couple of these plaques as well on here before we check out. So the, the tunnels could well be coming because this is the air raid shelter. So I can see that that's plausible. I can see where that's plausible. So Bailey's Hotel, originally the Metropole. Let's show you on here, look. I'm sorry if this is getting a bit long, but I wanted to just show you. So literally the original building, one of the earliest hotels, 1776 by Lawrence Bailey. So you can see how old and then it, obviously it's been built on and you know extended and what have you over the years i'll try and get this one in but it's pretty high i don't know if there's anything coming out there is that did you get that there you go hopefully something came out there Oh, the Sands Express, that was the train that used to come when there was extending the prom. Sorry, I know which one that is now. When there was extending the prom all here, the Sands Express used to come right along, you know what I mean, along the, what the tram lines are. When they were extending all this here. So, one of the... Entrances to the, the air raid shelter here, by the way, all along. So this is one of the entrances. You see where the door, not that door there, that's a later addition. But can you see where it would have been? I will try and put a photo on here of the original one but the photo was actually of when the uh, Montoya had killed the girl in the air raid shelter back in 1944 I've done a lot on that um, the, the murderous end to the search for the Metropole Hotel air raid shelter that we've done a couple of three videos on I think that's in the playlist actually so you can see where that is can't you so you can appreciate what uh, it, it, it could well have been a tunnel Oh, that's coming out for you. You see the lines there, where they would have been. And obviously this door here is just a later addition, isn't it? So yeah, you can see, it's not that far and it is plausible. But like I say, this is how we got to find out originally was with all the subscribers, people watching the channel, said, hey, Biker, this is what really, there is an air raid shelter underneath the Metropole. And then when we were first searching for it, I walked past the entrances, straight past them. I will try and put a couple of old photos. I'll do a bit of editing on this one for you. Not a lot, <laughs> but a bit. But yeah, what I was saying there is um, Montoya was a serving aircraft mechanic in the uh, USA Air Force, basically. And what in and the girl had done 22 year old and her name bloody escapes me at the moment for whatever reason um they'd gone out for a drink literally probably on the talbot road and what have you came back went into the air raid shelter here and he murdered her she was only 22 i do know her name it's just escaped me this morning it's a bit early so i'll show you the other entrance here which which is so obvious and i've walked by it twice i think i think it's because i'm so used to this area and i've passed it how many thousand of times since i was knee high to a grasshopper that you're that used that you don't look you don't use the old what is it that you say you're not using your eyes here so if you look here you see the entrance just below there just between the columns the two columns here and there's the entrance, what would have been obviously capped off, blocked off now, but you could 
you, you could plainly see that was an entrance even though bike could walk past it numerous occasions when I was looking for the entrances but yeah you can play with it 1912 when Titanic went down obviously of course so let me know what you think with this tunnel I'm not talking about the ones going from even though it's fascinating to me anyway I, hopefully it is to yourselves you know it is the history of Blackpool that they said that the tunnels from the Winter Gardens to the Tower, or the Tower to the Winter Gardens, were capped off in the 60s. Were there? Is there any more tunnels under there that we, we don't know of, have knowledge of? How did they get into the dressing rooms? How did they... Because CCTV revealed nothing. You know, it's like the Invisible Man walked in and took all the goods. It was quite big. It was in the newspapers that... I, I seem to remember it was said that We'll never go back to Blackpool, this and the other. You know, there was outrage, basically. Anyway, let me know what you think. I hope this has been all right. It, it, you can, it, would there have been a tunnel going from there to here? And from it, going back that way, you know, from the Ibis, whatever you want, Four Shores, going to the tower there? It's plausible, whether it's true or not, that's up for debate. If you know better, and like I say, if you have worked at the Abyss and you've seen those doors that do lead to the tunnel coming from there to here, uh, to here, then please let us know, because uh, I do find this fascinating, especially, you, you got to remember this is, like, from being a kid, a little, and that we were told about these tunnels. And it, it, it just seems fascinating that, once upon a time, they were used to transport things from one place to another. Where, where they used to keep people safe as well, into the air raid shelter here. It, it, every time I do one of these, though, it, it leads to more questions than answers. It, it really does. And that might be the reason why I've not done this final one. We think it's a final one. They might come to light that there's more. And if there is, great. I'd love to have a look into it. So... We'll leave it here. Thanks to everyone that's liked and subscribed. If you do like this one, just give it a thumbs up, will you? Um, but from outside, what was the air raid shelter? Underneath Butlins, not Butlins nowadays, biker. Underneath the Metropole Hotel. It's a mystery. Most of all, stay safe. You know what it is. Have a cracking day.